What's up YouTube? I'm back dropping some more Man Week knowledge on you guys. I'm Adrian the Barber and today's video we'll be talking about different types of lace wig glue. I got four different types right here. These are the only four that I've used in the two years that I've been doing Man Weaves or men's hair replacements, whatever you guys want to call them. I know y'all got about a thousand different names for these, man. We need to come over here to find the best new name that we're going to start calling Man Weaves. So we ain't going to call them Man Weaves no more. Actually, it really don't matter. I just say man weaves, because that's what everybody searches, man weaves, and that's how you find my video. But before we get into it, in my previous videos, I've been talking about how I'm traveling around, I'll be doing classes in different cities and cities near you. So what I'm gonna do is send you over to my website, adriandabarber.com. Not Adrian the Barber, not A-D-R-I-A-N, A-D-R-I-N. Adrian the Barber. Get it right. Because if you don't get it right, you're gonna be on some adriandabarber.com and I don't believe he has anything on his site about man weaves or man weaves classes. So make sure you get to my website, asiantobarber.com. It has my official tour schedule on there. Um, all the cities I'll be coming, I'll be coming to a city near you. So make sure you register for class because you definitely don't want to miss the opportunity to meet my main man, Lou. He'll be traveling around with me to all these cities I'm going to, helping share all the knowledge you know about men's hair replacements. Um, if you don't know who Lou is, go check out our Hair Heroes Live videos and tune in every Tuesday at Hair Heroes Live. We go live every Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get into talking about lace wig glues. So for the first lace wig bond, this one is made by Salon Pro 30 Seconds. Um, it's an extreme hold. I think they have a lighter hold one. I am not a fan of this. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I'm not a fan of Salon Pro brand when it comes to the lace wig glue. Number one, it's just too dang sticky. Um, I don't like the brush that it comes with when you pull it out. You just gotta match one second. Look at that. Ooh, it's just a mess. A mess. I hate this stuff. And anytime I had errors when I was doing uh, hair replacements when I was starting, it's because I was using this glue. Once you put this glue on somebody's head, you cannot move it around. Um, I really don't have anything good to say about it except nothing. Yeah. I do not recommend this glue to anybody. Do not buy this. I mean, you can buy it if you want, if you want to waste your money and have clients coming back to you talking about the hairline sagging. That's all another story I'll get into. But yeah, Salon Pro 30 Second Extreme Hold Lace Wig Bond. That's the first one that I use. The one I learned how to make man weaves with hair replacements, um, hair units. Again, I don't know what y'all want to call them. We need to come up with an official name. No, we're gonna create an official name. Me and you are gonna create an official name for man weaves, hair replacements, man units, whatever. And the world's gonna start calling them that. Yeah. Now the second lace wig glue that I'll be showing you guys is this crazy hole tube super lace glue for lace wigs. You got a super long name. Um, the company is BMA. It's a no mess. <laughs> I love that no mess. But this stuff's actually in a tube. So when I first started doing hair replacements. Second, one second. See, it's a mess. It says no mess, but it's a mess. It's all stuck in there. When I first started doing hair replacements, I was using Salon Pro 30 Seconds. Um, like I said, it was a mess. The brush sucked. So I went out and looked for a different alternative and lace wig glues um, before I found Ghost Bond. And I found this Crazy Hole Tube Super Lace Wig Glue in a tube. So the tube definitely made it easier to apply and a little bit less of a mess. But when it comes to spraying this glue on the head, it's a little bit harder than uh, I said ghost bomb, ghost bomb because once you put this down, it's super sticky and you start moving it around, you just get a mess and then you pull away your stick or your comb or brush where you want to pull away from the head and you just got this long strand of glue just coming just like this. I'm just gonna make a mess. I'm gonna be all sticky, let me stop playing with this glue. But yeah, you just got a mess. So this glue is pretty much identical to this lace wig bond. They both have good holes. I'm not gonna, like, I have nothing against the hold. I've never had the problem with anybody's uh, hair replacement falling off using these. It's just that the hairline starts to sag after a couple days, probably, you know, I say after a week, you'll see your client's hairline will start to sag down, almost like it's melting. And so that's why I really discontinued using these two types of glues. I still use this one a little bit and actually my next hair replacement video, I use this one because I want to show you guys different variations of products you can use while doing hair replacements. But like I said, good holes, just a mess. Working with it, it's a mess. And it says it's 100% waterproof. I can't say that it's not. I never officially tested it in water, but I still always recommend my clients to not get their hair wet or not to the shower. Um, or not to shampoo or whatever their hair with the hair replacement while wearing this. So yeah, 
that's my opinion on the crazy tube super lace wig glue for lace wigs this long name they didn't get them so the next lace wig glue i'm gonna get into is by the company is esha and it's a luxury wig fashion absolute water resistant um lace wig bond so there it is that's what it looks like it comes in a small tube don't get a lot it costs about five dollars and this one they do say it's 100 percent waterproof Again, I haven't tested in water. Um, now this, the manufacturers actually say, if you use this, um, you actually need a lace wig remover to take your unit off. Otherwise you can damage the, the client's skin. So definitely if you use this, you wanna be careful. Um, it is a super, super strong lace wig bond. Uh, again, I've never, when I use this, I've never had problems with people's units falling off. And I didn't really have a uh, hairline sagging when I use this. I just don't use it as much for the fact that I don't want to put something on a client and then the client go to try to remove their unit and they damage their skin because they didn't have a lace wig remover. So what I usually recommend to people is um, go buy a lace wig remover right away after they get their unit done or else um, come back and let me remove it so that way we, it can be removed. So that way it can be removed the correct way. But yeah, again, Esha by Absolute. That one runs about $5. Um, this crazy tube one also runs $5, $4.99 to start out of that. And this extreme hold, um, just this little tube ran $10 and it was a mess, nothing good to say about it. The last one I'm gonna talk about is Ghost Bond. And as you guys seen my hair replacement videos, you know this is the one I use just about every single unit I do. Um, Ghost Bond, this runs about, I think I get it at my beauty supply store here in town at like $17.99. You can get it on Amazon for like $14. And then a lot of other places I've seen it, it runs about $20. All these lace wig bonds say they're waterproof or water resistant. Me, I never recommend my clients to go jump into a pool or uh, go home and shampoo their hair because I try to stay away from having any issues when it comes down to the unit. People are spending good money on these to come in and get them done. I wanna make sure they last at least, you know, for the time I tell them it's gonna last. If I tell them to go home, wash their hair, get it wet, jump in the pool, you know, chances are it's not gonna look as clean as it did when they left and it's not gonna last as long. So to get the full life, I try to tell all my clients to keep their unit as dry as possible. But the ghost bond is my favorite. Um, like I said, you can put it on the head, you can move it around. If you make a mistake and you get glue in a certain area, you can just wipe it right off or um, line it right up with a pair of shears or a razor. And you don't have the problem of, you know, uh, glue residue sticking around on your head. So again, ghost bond is my favorite. It's the one that I'm gonna continue to use. And I know there's another one out there. Um, I can't think of the name exactly. I'll put it down in the description when I, uh, I'll find a link for it and put it down in the description for you guys but I think it's called Lace Bond or Bond Hold or something along those lines. Now, I know there's a lot more Lace Wig Glues out there. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, these are just the ones that I have experience with and I want to give you guys my personal opinion, my review on these ones. So if I had to rank these from one to four, you guys already know I'm taking Ghost Bond first, man. That's my favorite one. Uh, number two, I take the Crazy Hold Tube Super Lace Glue for Lace Wigs. Take that one second. Um, third, I would take this Esha. Absolute lace wig bomb. And then if you couldn't tell, which one I was gonna take for? It's easy. The lace wig 30 second salon pro, salon pro 30 second lace wig bomb. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of saying, I just said the word lace wig bomb about 300 times in this video. But yeah, the salon pro 30 second lace wig bomb is what I'm gonna take for it. Again, I will probably never use this glue again. I hope not. Unless I probably run out of glue or something and I need something on the fly, I keep this in my emergency stash. But. So I know there's other lace wig glues out there that may or may not be better than these. Um, I know there's one out there, a big one that is called like Bond Hold or something like that. A lot of people have suggested. So I'm gonna have to give that one a try. I'm gonna have to get it on order. But for the time, I'm gonna continue to use the Ghost Bond. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting the channel, watching the video, subscribing. Make sure you hit that notification bell when you subscribe. You don't want to miss these videos I got coming out. A ton of great content, haircut tutorials, and man week tutorials coming at you. We even got some product reviews to throw in there. Don't forget to get over to my site, adriandabarber.com. Everything's linked in the description below. I also put these glues down in the description below in case you guys want to try them out and uh, you know come up with your own opinion. So, um, also in the comments, if you guys use one of these glues, let me know what you guys think about them, if you like them or not, but, you know, these are just my personal opinions. And I'm not an expert on lace wig glues, so people don't be coming on here talking, you know, trying to correct me and stuff, you know, because I never said I was right. Just showed y'all what I like. But that's it for this video, so you guys make sure you tune in every Monday and Thursday for new uploads coming from your boy. This is my Adrian Barber. I'm out.